Anytime I get on a flight with my young children, I get asked, oh, is this their first flight? And I respond, no, they've been flying since they were about three weeks old. Then I get a variety of responses, but my favorite is the awe I get from people who have only been on a handful of flights in their lifetime, though they're grown adults. I understand that being able to travel with my family is a privilege, but it's something that I am passionate about and have made a priority in my family life today. Traveling with young children is never easy. The logistics of car seats, cribs, high chairs is enough to shut some parents down and say they will just travel later in life when their kids are grown. However, today I hope to convince you that traveling with your family is worth it all. Today we will look at a few main reasons why traveling with your children is worth it. it travel helps children become flexible. Travel brings you closer together as a family and travel teaches children patience. First, let's explore the life lesson of flexibility that comes from traveling with children. Traveling helps children become flexible. In life, it's easy to get into routines, routines that you follow daily. We wake up at the same time, eat familiar meals, go to work from 9 to 5, come home and stream our favorite TV show until bedtime, and then wake up and do it all over again the next day. Traveling forces us to break the routine. It's no question that children thrive on routine. In fact, the American Academy of Pediatrics says children do best when routines are regular, predictable, and consistent. However, an occasional break in routine can also be beneficial to teaching children to be resilient. The American Academy of Pediatrics also says building resilience, the ability to adapt well to adversity, trauma, tragedy, threats, or even significant sources of stress can help children manage stress and feelings of anxiety and uncertainty. When we travel to different time zones or have to, and have to force our bodies to go to bed and wake up at different times than we are used to, it teaches our bodies to adapt to different sleep patterns. When we go to sleep in a hotel or maybe an Airbnb, a new place, it forces our children to be brave and to learn to sleep comfortably in new places or on the go. Children also get the opportunity to learn flexibility while exploring new places. It's inevitable that wrong turns will be made while driving to new locations. Your luggage will be lost, your plane will be delayed, forcing you to miss your connecting flight. In these moments, you have no choice to be, but to be flexible and go with the flow. This lesson would be hard, hard to learn just being stuck at home, stuck in your routine. Traveling also brings you closer together as a family. The family, a proclamation to the world, says successful marriages and families are established and maintained on principles of faith, prayer, repentance, forgiveness, respect, love, compassion, work, and wholesome recreational acti activities. Traveling together is a wholesome recreational activity that will bring success to your family. Traveling as a family usually means that you're all crammed into a small hot hotel room all together, sharing one sleeping and living space and a bathroom. This brings you physically closer together. But traveling also brings you together emotionally. At home, families are easily distracted by the upkeep of life, mowing the lawn, cleaning the toilets, and running errands. When you travel, those tasks don't matter. Instead, you can just focus on the family that you're with. When traveling, you will often have to do things that are out of your comfort zone. When you're doing things that are uncomfortable, we have to rely on those around us for support and comfort. When traveling as a family, you will rely on each other and form a health, healthy attachment to each other as you explore new things. Steve Dennis, from the article titled, The Emotional Ties Between Parents and Children, says, Children with healthy attachments are more likely to explore and take appropriate risks. Through their adventures and attachment relationships, they will learn about right and wrong. Traveling also teaches children patience. If you've flown on a plane recently, you know how slow the airport and TSA lines are. Just like boarding and deboarding a plane, waiting for luggage, the rental car lines, and checking in at the hotel lobby, you quickly learn that while traveling, you just have to wait sometimes. According to a 2007 study by Fuller Theological Seminary professor Sarah A. Schnicker, a UC Davis psychology professor, and a UC Davis College professor, Robert Emmons, patient people tend to experience less depression and negative emotions, perhaps because they can cope better and with upsetting or stressful situations. They also rate themselves as more mindful and feel more gratitude, more connection to mankind and to the universe, and have a greater sense of abundance. Surely, strong mental health is something we all hope for our children. In this day and age, we live in a world of instant gratification, so learning to wait and have patience is a fleeting skill. When traveling, it allows children to learn the skill of having patience. 
kids learn best through the real world, real world experiences and hands-on practice, and taking these opportunities to learn patience will have lifelong effects. Another way children learn patience while traveling is when dealing with other people. Traveling allows children to see people different than who they do in their normal community. The people in other places and cultures might do things different than the children are used to, so they will need to be patient to learn how to tolerate others in their ways. Learning the skill of patience while traveling and waiting in lines does not need to be boring. While waiting, families can come up with fun board games to play or fun games to play together and that can help them pass time and make family fun family memories. People often say to me, why waste your time and money on traveling with young children? It's not like they'll remember it. What's your earliest memory from childhood? For me, it's my fourth birthday party. I was wearing a pink sweater and my mom had curled my hair that day, just the way I liked it. I had my friends and cousins over for a birthday party at my house, and I remember everyone singing happy birthday to me. The details that I remember are simple, but I do recall feeling loved and special on that day. So when I get the response of, why waste your time, your kids aren't going to remember it, I like to ask them a question in response. If your kids don't remember, then why do you throw a birthday party for young children? Though it's a snarky response, I think it helps illustrate that it's less about the specific trip or the specific party you threw and more about the deeper lessons that children will learn from traveling. Traveling teaches children important life lessons, like that people may be different than us, that, but that we have a lot of similarities too. Traveling with children is never wasted, and though they may not remember the whole trip, the experiences they have will last a lifetime. Travel helps become helps children become flexible and resilient in routines. Travel brings you closer together as a family. And there, <clears throat> there are none of the daily life distractions that are common at home. Instead, you just get to focus on the people you are with. Travel teaches children patience and how to wait when things get slow. So, now does it seem worth it to travel with your children?